Yes, I'm as well born as fourth period class. My name is Lamar Perkins, and I'm interviewing my granddaddy, Kevin Smith. I'm interviewing him on Hurricane Frederick, which took place in nineteen in the year of 1979 in the state of Alabama. So, can you tell me, like, your... your like uh, your experience throughout the whole hurricane and how yeah, yeah that, like your whole experience well my experience of hurricane frederick was september 12 1979 and i was 19 years old then 18 going on 19 i've just recently moved down here from new york so i knew very little about what a hurricane was all about but then when it hit mobile and i was as young as i was it was very devastating to the state to the city of mobile and all the power was out. People couldn't go nowhere for, I think it was about two weeks. If I remember, it was at least two weeks we didn't have no power or no lights. I remember standing in, in line in Pritchard to get some ice. And, and at that time, my aunt was living. She was telling me how the hurricane was doing. And I've never seen so many trees being down. And the devastation of it was awesome. And then... When we was able to get the TV and everything, when they went to showing where Hurricane uh, Frederick hit in the category, I think when it hit, it was a category three, if not a four. But it was the most devastating thing I've, I've witnessed as a young teenager because I had just graduated from Blunt, and everybody used to talk about Hurricane Camille, but I've never experienced no hurricane. And... I was learning what a hurricane was all about and the forces of the winds and how devastated it could be. And it was devastating for a lot of people here in Alabama. I can't tell you how many people died, but I can't tell you it was the most devastating thing for the city of Alabama and for the city of Pritchard because I was standing in Pritchard in Trinity Garden at the time. And I remember my aunt telling me we had to get up early in the morning. I mean, we had to take the stuff out of the deep freezer in order to cook certain little things so the food wouldn't spoil. At that time, they used to used to preserve peas and and beans and stuff like that. So we had a good cookout at that time, trying to savage our food. But it was a devastating thing, and we used to have to walk over to. In Pritchett was the city hall, and, and behind city hall they used to have this. This 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 ice house in where they now have if I'm if I'm correct, Pritchard Jailhouse now sits where the ice house used to be, and we used to have to walk up there and get ice, and they had other commodities. They had a staging area there, so yeah, it was it was devastating. I was almost a, I could say a little boy, but I was a teenager. But I was ignorant to the fact that what a hurricane really was, but it was devastating. So you said that, like, you was just moving from New York and you was, like, a teenager. And um, how did you think the experience from from your experience from Hurricane Frederick, how, like, affected Mobile from, like, 1979 to, like, now? Like, if it did hit again, how would you think, like, it would affect you and your family since you just, like, getting out from moving to New York and to stuff? Well, after the experience of the hurricane, I'm not going to say I know how to take it the next time it comes, but I know the preparations we would need to take for us to to have on hand, like our, our flashlights. And back then we used candles a lot. We didn't have as many flashlights as we got now because on just about everything that has a flashlight, even your phone has a flashlight now. But I think back then, then in 1979, compared to 2018, I did live through Katrina, and then I think Ivan have been since then, and George. I've been through a couple of them since then, but I've, I was better prepared because I knew what I need to have, and when they said hurricane awareness is, we need to get our batteries, we need to get our commodities, we need to gas up our vehicles, and I've got flashlights in various different places in the house, and, and I've got a generator, too. Now, that, that back in the day would have helped out that we did, we was, I'm not going to say we wasn't poor, but we just didn't, 
We just didn't think we needed it then, more so than we do now. They made it a lot more easier for us to get a hug, get a, a generator now, more so than it was in the past. And last question, I also heard that back then, like during the hurricane, like like the T like the T V news reporter, like they'll just like till like five minutes before the storm before the storm will like even hit. Right. That, well the technology for the for the news to to give us uh awareness about about the hurricane, it can change a lot since since back then because back then I don't think there was near as experience with with the radars and and tracking the hurricane and uh, giving us the awareness in which we need needed now than than we had back then. In other words, in other words, now it's a whole lot better than compared to being back then. It's because we have advanced notice. They got weeks out of notice back then. We didn't have that. That, that 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 speed of, of of exactly where the hurricane's gonna hit or when it's gonna approach it. I think it's a lot better now than it was back then because technology has changed and 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 far as the the, the weatherman and and uh, letting us aware of what's going on. He uh that's okay, we can always do this again, but nevertheless it's 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 a whole lot better now than it was back then because we got all kinds of ways to get the people informed. Radio, cell phones. We got the alerts, and all. We got a whole lot more advanced at letting people be aware of what's fixing to transpire as far as a hurricane. Even though we had the warnings and stuff back then, it wasn't nearly as accurate now than it was back then. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay.